Since 1652, Dutch settlers had colonized Southern Africa, seized the land and all its natural resources, and forged a new identity as Afrikaners. After World War II, racism became entrenched in law and was known as apartheid, the Afrikaans word for separateness. Government policy reserved jobs for whites and began a system of Christian national education. Prime Minister H.F. Vervoort, one of the architects of apartheid, limited black or Bantu education, as it was called. Quote, if a native in South Africa is being taught to expect that he will live his adult life under a policy of equal rights, he is making a big mistake. It is apartheid. And for as long as we have a separation of schools, uh, the belief is that we cannot have equality. People believe that, you know, a separation uh, uh, sort of emanates from inequality and that as long as we have, uh, you know, we cannot really speak of separate but equal, you know. I mean, uh, the moment you say separate, people sort of always believe that there is something behind it. There is inequality. The content of our education as it is presently structured is such that it, you know, deprives the black child of accepting that he is equal with whites. And it injects a kind of inferiority. I believe that this was uh, stated uh, by ministers, most particularly in the early 50s, that the, our, the education, primary education, is meant to make blacks realize they are, that they will never uh, be equal to whites. So we believe that that uh, intention is still there.